So this is one of the methods that um, I didn't have in my video for dividing by a two-digit divisor. So I'm doing it separately. Uh, we are going to do, this is the standard algorithm, but it's in the box format. So um, I'm still going to find an estimate. So let's start over there, estimate. Um, I'm going to round 18 to the nearest 10, which would be 20. I'm going to use multiples of 20. Forty, sixty, eighty. You can hear my cat in the background. Sorry for that. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to look and I'm going to see that fifty-six is really close to sixty. So that is the one I'm going to use. So I'm going to put a six and a zero for sixty. And I'm going to put a zero. I know, kitty cat. That's crazy. Estimating. You want to say anything else? All right. We're going to keep going. Okay, so you notice that I did the Fruit Ninja. I'm going to divide 6 by 2, which is 3. And I'm going to bring over my leftover 0, which is right here. All right, so now we're ready to do the box method. Remember, we're going to put each of our digits of our dividend in three separate boxes, making sure to put our lines for our box pretty close to the digits like this. I'm going to bring it down like this and go all the way across and let's get some more room over here. Okay, and your divisor goes on the outside. So how many times is 18 uh, going to 5? It doesn't. So we put a 0. Remember, we're multiplying. So 0 times 18 is 0. Subtract, you get a 5. We're going to shoot that up there. 5 goes here. Now, if you watch the other videos, um, you'll happen to know, I'm going to do my math off to the side, that 18 times 3, I get my 3 from my estimate right here. So I'm going to try 18 times 3. 34 is 54, so it's pretty darn close. So I'm going to use 3 right here. 3 times 18 is 54. Subtract, I get a 2. That goes right there. 20 or 18 into 20 goes in one time 18 remainder 2. So this would be our solved part. We solved it using the standard algorithm and um, uh, but in the box format for a final answer of 31 right here. 31 we had two remaining. Here's the remainder right there, 2 over 18. Okay, so this is one of the methods that um, I didn't have in my video for dividing by a two-digit divisor. So I'm doing it separately. Uh, we are going to do, this is the standard algorithm, but it's in the box format. So um, I'm still going to find an estimate so let's start over there, estimate. Um, I'm going to round 18 to the nearest 10, which would be 20. I'm going to use multiples of 20. 40, 60, 80. You can hear my cat in the background, sorry for that. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to look and I'm going to see that 56 is really close to 60. So that is the one I'm going to use. So I'm going to put a 6 and a 0 for 60. And I'm going to put a 0. I know, kitty cat. That's crazy. Estimating. You want to say anything else? All right. We're going to keep going. Okay. So you notice that I did the Fruit Ninja. I'm going to divide 6 by 2, which is 3. And I'm going to bring over my leftover 0, which is right here. All right, so now we're ready to do the box method. Remember, we're going to put each of our digits of our dividend in three separate boxes, making sure to put our lines for our box pretty close to the digits like this. I'm going to bring it down like this and go all the way across. And let's get some more room over here. Okay, and your divisor goes on the outside. So how many times is 18? Uh, go into 5. It doesn't. So we put a 0. 
Remember, we're multiplying. So 0 times 18 is 0. Subtract, you get a 5. We're going to shoot that up there. 5 goes here. Now, if you watch the other videos, um, you'll happen to know, I'm going to do my math off to the side, that 18 times 3, I get my 3 from my estimate right here. So I'm going to try 18 times 3. 34 is 54, so it's pretty darn close. So I'm going to use 3 right here. 3 times 18 is 54. Subtract, I get a 2. That goes right there. 20 or 18 into 20 goes in one time. 18 remainder 2. So this would be our solve part. We solved it using the standard algorithm and um, uh, but in the box format for a final answer of 31 right here 31 we had two remaining here's the remainder right there 2 over 18 okay so what I've done now is just to clean it up a little bit so that you can see um, we did our, our estimate, which was 30, our solve, which we came up as 31 into 18, and now we're going to do our check, and it's the same for any strategy, no matter what you use, you're going to do the check the same. I'm going to take 31, and I'm going to multiply it times 18. I'm using the standard algorithm here, but remember, you have strategies for multiplication that you're allowed to use. So 8 times 1 is 8, no carryover. 8 times 3 is 24. Remember, the most important thing when using the standard algorithm for multiplication is that you have a placeholder right there. Now we're going to multiply 3 times 1, or excuse me, 1 times 1, and 1 times 3. And we're going to add both of those. We get 8, a 5, and a 6. Now before you start freaking out, Excuse me, that's not that. I am freaking out because it's not even close. All right, let's try adding one more time correctly. This will be a five. Now, before you uh, start freaking out again, you have a remainder. So we're gonna add our remainder on, and our final answer is five, six, zero, which is the same dividend we started out with. All right, so when you take 560 divided by 18, it equals 31 and 218. This is using the box method.